The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 647 this morning. It was earlier in the week that we saw some uh, signs of change in the sky from Monica and rural retreat getting that halo around the sun there. Here's what causes it. You had those wispy cirrus clouds. Those are comprised of ice, so the sunlight passes through those ice crystals, but those crystals bend the sunlight at a 22 degree angle. So relative to the ground level that forms the shape of a circle or a halo. So great shot there again from Monica in rural retreat. Not seeing anything like that this morning. In fact, you're hardly seeing anything period on the campus of Virginia Tech. Very thick fog there. Meanwhile, just some patches of fog in Martinsville, Roanoke, it's a mix of clouds and sun with a temperature of 62 degrees. The New River Valley, the highlands today, you'll be in the 70s. Roanoke, Lynchburg, south side, high temperatures uh, about the upper 70s and lower 80s. Mostly dry today, can't rule out a stray shower, but the weather pattern starts to uh, really take shape as we head into the weekend. Here's tomorrow, you see the bulk of flooding in the red there across the Gulf Coast. We see a low chance of that happening, especially as we head toward tomorrow night and into Saturday with the slightly better chance being farther to the south. So again, a stray shower today. Storm cluster producing some severe weather in Texas and parts of the Gulf Coast. Tomorrow morning, we're dry. It's after 1 or 2 p.m. that we see scattered storms that gradually turn more numerous toward the evening as we track this warm front that lifts from south to north. That's why I think the bulk of rain we see is going to be tomorrow evening into Saturday morning. Future Tracker, I think, is kind of underselling how many showers and storms we see Saturday afternoon. I do think we see more than what it was showing right there. But as far as rain totals are concerned between Friday and Saturday in the green, that's where you see the potential for one inch or more. There may be some slightly lower totals as these things kind of come in waves and in pockets. But beyond Saturday, still some periods of rain Sunday. Most of that should be light. A northeast breeze is going to keep highs in the 60s. This the New River Valley extended forecast. So you see that cool down. Monday's back in the low to mid 70s. And even though the mornings start out kind of comfortable, Next week, the afternoons will start to trend warmer by Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday offers up the chance for some showers and storms once again. The Roanoke Valley near 80 today and tomorrow. Maybe a stray shower today, but a better chance of scattered storms. That'll start afternoon into the evening with rain continuing into at least Saturday morning. Keep checking back for updates on the weekend forecast. Sunday looks like a gloomy day with highs only in the 60s, but we'll bounce back into the 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.